这这这这这真理太奇妙。What we are talking about, though, is the uprising popularity of anime, a type of Japanese animation, and the culture that surrounds it. And here's Scott Reed to tell you more about it. Anime first made an appearance on Australian television in the 1960s and 70s, with cartoons such as Astro Boy and Speed Racer. Here he comes, here comes Speed Racer, he's a demon on wheels. This style of cartoon was referred to as invisible anime. Without realising it, the majority of the younger generation has been exposed to anime at some point. More recently, morning shows on Australian television have aired Card Captors, Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, and many more. Pokemon is a gateway drug. Not literally, but yeah, it is. But literally, it's Yeah, literally. Drug. Melbourne is known for its wide range of multicultural diversity, so it's no surprise that a large portion of the community have chosen to embrace the culture of anime and manga. It's all great, I don't know, it's just like it's so colourful, it's just... Yeah, I was going to say colourful. Yeah, I love yeah. how just bright and happy everything yeah. is. Manga is the style of Japanese comic books, which most of the anime series and movies originate from. You can find specialist stores and hobby shops in the CBD that sell all your anime needs, stocking the latest anime films, games, figurines and manga. Yearly festivals such as the Melbourne Anime Festival and Supernova are held to promote the Japanese pop culture, bringing the community together to showcase their passion for everything anime, while also being able to purchase collectible items, meet and greet with the voice actors and artists, and participate in events such as cosplay, drawing and demoing video games, along with much more celebrating the culture. It's colourful, there are lots of like-minded, friendly people who can give out free hugs. It helps uh, promote more diversity. There's lots of cool stuff you can't buy anywhere else, except on the internet, but that doesn't exist. Yeah. Cosplay is short for costume play. This is where fans dress up in costumes that imitate characters from manga, anime and video games. Cosplay is starting to become a subculture in itself with not only teenagers and children participating, but also adults. For those who enjoy the closeness of the community at conventions, there are also fan clubs that welcome new members to join their weekly meetings and get-togethers. It's over 9,000! What, 9,000?! So get involved in this exciting culture and see for yourself why it's gaining so much popularity.